Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today I've logged into the EU server to play some LTTB. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> this map again. All right, so this is a map that I've been playing a lot of lately, which I guess is okay because everyone has trouble with it. Um, Highway is an interesting map, especially for a light tank because light tanks by design can't really make plays. Like they can kind of spot people towards the end of the game and that's when their camo and view range becomes useful. But um, for the majority of the time, it's like what you want to do in a light tank right off the bat is find find people who are driving into position and shooting at them. The problem with a map like Highway is all the lines of like driving are really covered. So for example, anyone who's driving to the city from their spawn will take a route something like this. And obviously this ridge keeps them safe. So it's very hard for a light tank to to, I guess exploit that and same thing with you know running down the one line it's like anyone who's driving here there's really only this area right here which you can ins exploit there's nothing more aggressive than that that you can do and the way i found to exploit that is from the mid uh, by ramming into your teammates no but the problem is if you get yoloed by a light tank here you're sort of screwed so what i try to do is i try to sit as far back as i can Okay, I guess that's not a light tank. Phew. That was a, a medium tank. <laughs> People who make that play screw you over really hard, even though it gets them killed. And so you have to be prepared for that to happen and just run away when it eventually does. So that's happened. Hopefully there's no one else. I'm going to sit where the Skoda is. And obviously there's a ton of targets right here, which uh, are just kind of sitting still. So this is what I like to do at the beginning of the game. Eventually it's going to become very difficult to continue to play here. Luckily there's no scout who's spotting me or whatever. I can shoot down these houses, I guess. The problem is this tank doesn't have much ammo. Okay, maybe this will work. I'd rather shoot at this guy than the house. Right, so this is the problem. <laughs> Look what's happening to Leo. So the way I see this is we're not going to win, even if I'm aggressive here. Now, the reason is mostly because of Artie, I think, and partly to do with numbers. So what I mean by that is when, when you're trying to gauge whether or not to play on the field on this map is you look at who's supporting you. <laughs> and this 704, he's really not going to have, you know, I, I went to his angle to see what types of shots he have. He's not really going to be able to support unless people make mistakes but even then he's gonna miss some of his shots it's just they have so much numbers who are gonna be perma spotting these guys that uh, they're gonna get clicked to hell that's just gonna suck so I'm gonna do as much damage as I can I'm looking at the city I think we might be able to win that I might want to go force the city instead of just continuing to snipe here like a bit of adults I think that's what I'm gonna do it's like this guy needs to fall back because what's gonna happen is we're gonna lose the field and I don't want you to die under the bridge. But what I need to do is I need to win the city before we lose the field and before they get on our cap. Uh, and so we're going to play that off of what we see here, which luckily our team is holding out really well. So I'm just going to give some support over here. And maybe lead the charge a bit. Okay, so my thoughts on engaging this Tiger P are who is behind him, right? Like, we know there's no Yag Tiger sniping in their base because he's sitting at D1. But this guy might have support, and that's going to be risky. But I'm making this play because I want to speed this up. We're going to eventually lose the field, and I want these guys to, you know, not be stuck fighting tier 7 Tiger Ps. So that's that's what I'm trying to do right here. This is kind of what support tanks are really good for, is just like helping people out when no one's looking at you. So I'm going to flank whoever's here, which is the T32. He's not prepared for this, which is kind of cool. And then we actually should be able to just win this game because we didn't lose the field yet. We haven't lost it yet. This is why you don't face heck, by the way. <laughs> if you're ever in a close situation with your buddy, or like if you're ever in a situation where it's like a one-on-one -on -one and you need to win and you've got Artie's support or whatever, don't face heck the enemy. The only reason you want to face heck the enemy is so Artie, their Artie doesn't kill you. But like given this is, you know, World of Tanks, there's a still high chance that Artie will kill you trying to get a frag or whatever as you're face hacking an enemy, but 
sometimes it works because Artie doesn't like there's some intelligent RD players who don't want to click their teammates, but it is rare. So I want to point out they've got a T71 unspotted. So obviously I'm going for Artie, but the question is, where's that T71? And it's a fair question. When you drive for Artie, you kind of need to be careful. There's the T71. Okay. Because they'll click you like really hard and it sucks. So you can get that guy before he shoots. And I'm just hoping to stay already safe while I engage this T-71 right here. Good. And I should be able to beat this guy considering how he's been playing all game. Cool. So use auto-aim in this. I mean, I don't really have to use auto-aim, I guess. And obviously, I'm not trying to track him. I'm just, you know, I could almost sit still. Cool. So that's the game. The 44 tried to... <laughs> take the kill there. Luckily he bounced. Cool. So that's that's how I deal with that type of situation. I mean, it's Raffle Slump game of here, of course. But uh, it certainly didn't really have to be considering they have Artie and whatnot. Yeah. Really. I came first on the team for XP, third on the team for damage. I and mean, that's, that's how I go about playing on maps. So... The way I try to play lights is you look for positions where, like this is how scouting works, right? You look for people who are driving into position to figure out where they're going. The problem is there's only a select few of maps where you can really exploit that. So for example, on this map, what I'm going to do is I look, if you're looking for an opportunity to either a scout or do early damage, the way you do it that is you predict where people are going to be driving to, and then you hit them as they're driving to those locations. So on a map like this, we know, okay, there's a flank in the north. Who goes to the north? doesn't really matter who. Tanks will go to the north. So how do you exploit that? Well, you can't because there's cover here, right? Like the way to do it would be to get on top of here and spot them. Or I could drive up to here and spot them. Likewise with the city, it's like there's cover preventing me from spotting them from the mid. So I'd have to be hyper aggressive in the city to spot them, which would probably get me killed because they've got four tier eight heavies. So those types of plays are not going to work here. On a map like this, I have to use my gun, which, you know, I enjoy. <laughs> it's, it's just unfortunate. So I'm not going to be able to scout. What I can do is I can try to take a position early and maybe intimidate the enemy from taking them. That's, that's an option for an aggressive play, and generally it's easier to do when you're fighting tier sixes or whatever. So one position that I do like, I'm just going to try it for the sake of this video because I don't really want to take the mid anymore. It's kind of annoying. Is this position right here? So you can take it in like a 62A or something and get hull down, right? Like something like this. And this is where you could shoot people who are driving into position. I guess the question is who? There's the WZ, okay. So he snuck up here. And he actually doesn't know I'm here, which is kind of cool. And I'm not too worried about him. Like if he pokes on me, I should have a scorpion right here who's looking at him, right? So that's... That's what's going through my mind right now. Now, we just lost. That's the scorpion we just lost. Okay, so I was looking. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> he was full HP. I guess he got one shot. Thank God Artie's been nerfed. So I think what's going to happen is I have no support on this flank. You know, I'm about as front lines as it gets. And this guy's decided to start poking on me. When he's backed off, I'm going to try to run. So I don't think I'm lit right now because he's not lit. So maybe I can kind of angle my armor well there and get him to bounce. <laughs> Problem is these guys who are just sitting there like aren't shooting at him. So I had no support, so I left. And that's, that's it for that aggressive play. What I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing that I did last game. Uh, is look for an opportunity to do damage. And I see that expiring right here. So they're going to YOLO this low. The low is probably going to die because he's fighting a 3v1 effectively. So maybe I can just kind of support him and uh, punish the enemies a bit for killing this low because there's no saving him unless I can set people on fire or something. Which he died way quicker than I wanted him to. Okay, well, I'm just going to kind of play like a mosquito right now, I guess. Shoot people when they're not looking at me. 
like this guy is. Now he's just fired, so I can put another shot into his engine. And now he just fired again and killed a Scorpion G. Pinned his lower plate right there. And so now it's like, okay, well, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks in the city. Uh, and we have maybe that, that many tanks left on our team. So I'm not going to fight the city. That would be suicide. Maybe I can help this Lorraine or something fight this Type 59. That's an opportunity to get damage. And then I could also defend the base if I so felt like. So that's what I'm going to do. I'd rather do that instead of pushing the Type. Especially given how I've seen the Lorraine 40 ton play, right? Like I don't need XVM to know he's probably not super reliable as a teammate. So I'm not going to rely on him. So maybe I can just sit up here or something and just try to make the most of this game so I speed up my grind. Because I want to get out of this tank. So I'll sit here. This guy should ideally move. He's also kind of... His position makes it hard with my gun depression. So that's part of the reason that I'm asking him to move. I'm just sort of lining up for shots. Now, the second I get lit, it's very likely that the RHM who will probably be pushing into our base or something, will stop and shoot at me. So the second I'm lit, I'm just going to get safe. Because that's kind of what needs to happen. And an interesting thing is we're kind of pulling back the scores here. Wow, that's kind of a nice thing. There's the type. Cool. Cool. So the frustrating thing about this is the fact that our sniping tanks aren't in good sniping positions. Meanwhile, me, who has the capacity to spot for them, I, you know, I'm in the best of the sniping positions right now, which is a bit of irony, but whatever. I'm just going to try to get as much damage as I can out of it, like I said, because I, I want to get as much XP as I can. So put shots into this IS-3. I want to keep my ISU alive as long as I can, because that means... You know, we'll do better as a team, I'll get more damage, it'll just be better for all of us. So there's the RHM. I'm not spotted, so I'm gonna keep shooting at the IS-3 to try to keep my friend alive. That was, uh... <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end of that. LTTB stupid fuck what you did all game. I didn't sit on top of a hill in my auto-loading medium. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the EU experience. We'll go take a look at the end plates and uh, not watch this guy play. All right, so shit talking aside, that was uh, 30k credits, 688 XP. Not bad. I mean, the game wasn't... I don't know. It's like when TDs don't really do more than one shot of damage, you kind of have to wonder. So, um... You know, that's that's a very real situation that light tanks are put into, and that's how I try to make the most of it. Um, given it was a shit map, the team did not really perform. Most of them didn't do their hit points, and that's, that's sometimes what you're given in this game. So, hope this video was helpful. You know, I got to show you a win and a loss, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, bye for now. Thanks for watching.